so we have seen the cache memory is made up of what okay so what it is made up of six transistors right and we have seen the big macro modules for those static rams now we are going to discuss about the main memory first we are going to discuss about what are uh, the main memory is made up of what what is main memory made up of okay first we'll go to the basic fundamental cell of main memory okay now look at here here we have one transistor right in that transistor we have one capacitor okay so what it will do this capacitor stores charge for a one a no charge for a not getting so if the logic value one is stored in this cell then the capacitor will have the value of one okay it will be pre charged it will be charged otherwise it will be discharged getting this one so this is used to store the data and what about this transistor transistor is used as a switch transistor is used as a switch here okay now this is a bit line and this is a word line we have to differentiate these two things In the base of this transistor we have connected word line and this is a bit line okay so here we have uh, sense write amplifies and sense and amplify data the same thing what we have seen in what we have seen in uh, uh, sram right and below that we are having the logic for chip select and read write uh, read and write select logic okay here the important thing is uh, the capacitor right so capacitor uh, pre charging that concept is very very important that means how it's it will going to store the value and all right so look at here here the capacitor will discharge in 4 to 15 milliseconds this capacitor generally okay and refresh capacitor refresh capacitor by reading a value on bit line amplifying amplifying capacitor okay here uh, we'll see how the read and write operation will happen okay if it if it wants to perform a write operation then what will happen place a value on a bit line and assert word line so this is a bit line bi bi stands for bit line and wi stands for word line okay so now the uh, word i mean uh, the bit we are going to write in this memory cell will be here okay and then place a value on a bit line and assert a word line we have to uh, uh, how the word line will be asserted based on the address right so based on the row address it will assert the particular terminal in this uh, transistor so now the transistor will get activated now it's like a switch right so it is a short so this bit will go and it will be stored in this capacitor okay now if it wants to read the read then what will happen pre charge bit line so if it is a read, uh, read means what will happen uh, first it will do the pre pre charge operation okay then assert word line now uh, again word line is what address right so for reading also we uh, we will going to send the address so based on this address it will get triggered okay now this value will be sensed by this part here we are having sense amplifier right it will sense this value and amplify that value after that only it will give it in this output bus so it is sensing that value sense value on a bit line with sense amplifier okay so now after the amplification it will be in and the uh, output bus okay so this need to refresh the storage cells of dynamic ram chips complicates dram system design here one great disadvantage is since we are using the capacitor here we have to constantly refresh this capacitor right because this is a, a generally capacitor is a dynamic uh, nature right so that is a main disadvantage of this one so this need to refresh the storage cells of dynamic ram chips it will uh, so in order to refresh uh, the capacitor we need some refresh circuits right so ultimately it will going to increase the hardware so this is a disadvantage of dram cell
Okay. Here they have given some uh, detailed uh, explanation of that capacitor and transistor. Okay. Now look at here. This is a word line. This bit line. Okay. In the word line, the capacitor gate terminal, sorry, transistor gate terminal is connected, and uh, we'll consider this is a source and this is a drain. Okay. So one of the terminal is connected to bit line. Okay. Now what will happen? Here we are having that capacitor. Okay. So these are all the timing diagram related to this one. We'll first read this one, then we'll compare these two things. Okay. So if it is a right operation, what will happen? Set bit line to zero. This is a bit line. Okay. Okay. Now it will be set to zero. Okay. Zero or VDD. It will be either in zero or VDD. And now we have to enable this word line. Suppose bit line is set to VDD. Okay. And uh, this uh, word line also also uh, enabled. In that case, what will happen? This is a PMOS, right? So it is NMOS, right? NMOS. The word line is high, so I it will get sorted, right? So now it's sorted one, and the value which present in this bit line will be stored in this capacitor. Okay, and if it is a read operation means what will happen set bit line to vdd by 2 as we discussed earlier it will be charged to half of the voltage right so now in the bit line we'll have vdd by 2 voltage and we have to enable this uh, word line enable means here it, it will be set to zero uh, vdd Okay, now this capacitor will switch on, and be, uh, the voltage which present in this B8 line will come here, right? So now what's happening? The voltage difference, so the current will flow. That will be stored here. This is how the data which is in capacitor is read by the output. Okay, now uh, come to this. Uh, uh, timing diagram here we are having word line okay word line is set to high okay and this is a ground one okay 